We all know by now the importance of a good webcam. So many of us have been working from home over the course of the pandemic that it's kind of become evident that you do need a good one. But that being said, good webcams can come in the range of upwards of $200 for some. So a lot of us try to use our phones instead by downloading a whole variety of just different third-party apps and programs. And between the different types of software you use for video calls, be it Teams or Zoom, none of them really worked that well. In saying, Apple have since announced, with the latest version of macOS and iOS, a way to use your iPhone as a webcam with your M1 Mac or M2. And we're here to see exactly what it can do and how well it works. Okay, so to start, I have to just clarify, I'm using beta version of both these softwares. So I have a beta of iOS 16 on my phone and I have a beta of macOS Ventura on the iMac here. So you can expect these features to come later on in the year, just not right now. But that being said, let's actually just take a look and see some of the features that have come with the new uh, updates. So <laughs> starting here, you'll see there is a typical uh, portrait mode. But let's click on the thing over here and you'll see it actually comes with a few new features. So what I'm using right now is the ultra wide camera and I'll show you why. This version of Mac OS has center stage, very similar to what we saw on the iPad Air M1 and the iPad Pro M1. So if I turn that off, you'll see, <laughs> it's, you can see the cables on the ground. It's, it's just in the wrong position. But now when it's on, I can get up I can move around and it's just gonna follow me as if there's someone behind the camera controlling it. So I can even just stand up and you'll see it's kind of limited <laughs> where I have the camera um, in so, in so how, how far it actually can go up and down. But other than that, it actually works pretty well. You'll see as well that there is portrait mode, which is available on the most current version of FaceTime and stuff. Um, but there's this new one, Studio Light, which if I turn off, you'll see, oh, I, it kind of just looks flatter and not quite as dynamic. And that's because what Studio Light is doing is it's brightening me while darkening the background. So that's pretty fun. But there is one feature which really gets me excited. And <laughs> that's when they showed off a WWDC called Desk View. And, and let me show you this for a second. So I'm gonna drag this over here. I'm gonna bring up the Desk View and suddenly I have an overhead view of my desk. <laughs> but I don't have any other camera. This is all being done with the iPhone 13 Pro that I currently have plugged, connected to the MacBook. And the way that it's doing this is all through the ultra wide angle camera. So you'll see, you're seeing me on the ultra wide and you're seeing my desktop here. So a lot, the main purpose of this is say you wanna show something off in a presentation or Zoom call, I can say I grab these headphones here and I can just kind of demonstrate while also being able to see my face and talk to camera. So you can do this, imagine if you have notepads, pictures, paintings, anything that you want to be able to show off in person rather than sharing your screen. So like I said, I'm using the developer betas to actually gain access to this. If you want access yourself, you'll have to be a part of the Apple developer program. You'll also need something to physically connect your iPhone to the computer. So at the moment, I'm using a pretty rudimentary strung up uh, solution because we don't actually have the official accessory. But in the future, Apple are collaborating with Belkin to bring out their own MagSafe clips that will just attach to the top of both an iMac as well as a MacBook Pro. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty neat feature and one that I'm surprised has taken this long to finally come onto Mac, but a welcome one at that. But really, I wanna know what you think. Is this something that would be useful to you or are you even still working from home? <laughs> Have you sold off your expensive webcam? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked this video, we just did one on some of our favorite iPhone apps from last month. So make sure to check that out because I'd say there's a few that you haven't heard of before. My name's Robin and I'll see you in the next one.